Hello, welcome to Prime Media TV, Lagos, Nigeria. This is Prosper Michael from Prime Media TV. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a news report review. And uh, before we start properly, I'm going to cough up the break, then we'll come back, then we'll sit, uh, start the show. Stay with us. Okay, we start with the vanguard that says um, to use NLC to use nationwide strider called miscompliance in states. So it's no longer news that uh, uh, the election has uh, the nationwide strike has commenced on the fourth, commenced on the fourteenth of uh, November and is still ongoing. So the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress of Nigeria to use nationwide strike recorded miscompliance across states yesterday, while some states were shut down. With, uh, with banks, public schools, courts, and other shutdown. Some states regarded partial compliance, and a few did not uh, comply. So we're going to take a report from the Channel News platform that actually capture uh, the whole story of some of the states and the interview uh, from different uh, quarters as regards uh, the, the, uh, the report from China's report from uh, the NLC and TUC as regards the ongoing strike. Okay, we, we will take that report in a short moment. Let's take the last story. I think uh, we'll have technical glitch there. Then uh, we see that uh, Hope Uzodima regret assaults on Joe Ajero says MLC strike uh, politically motivated. Uh, you can see that on uh, China's uh, news platform. Uh, barely two weeks after the president of uh, the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, uh, Joe Ajero was allegedly assaulted by security operatives in Imbo State. Governor Hope Zodima says he regret the attacks on the Labour uh, Congress. Um, we have the reaction to that from uh, from the Chinese news platform, where Ajero, where Hope Zodima says that he regretted the assault, but at the same time, I says that uh, 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 Joe Ajero's movement move was uh, uh, politically motivated. We we'll take that we'll come back shortly. Of the issue of uh, labour. I want to put it on record that my civil servants, the workers of Imo State, who have been verified and cleared, over 98% of them, this government is not owing them any dime. If there is anything, I met backlog of salaries of judges in this state, 24 months, left behind. And I struggle to I make sure I paid all the outstanding areas of salary. <laughs> so Imo State government is not owing any worker. The sponsored antagonism between Imo State and national leadership of uh, Nigerian Labour Congress. Politically sponsored antagonism. We are already handling. The government of Imo State regret any assault method on the president of Nigerian Labour Congress, but at the same time condemn in its entirety the attempt by the president. Welcome back. That was from uh, uh, Hope Zodima. You heard it from the right uh, there, uh, condemning the assault, but at the same time uh, seeing the uh, Ajero's movement in the Imo State as a uh, political uh, motivated. Uh, we're going to take that report from uh, China's platform as regards the ongoing strike. Or this was what is related to the strike that we're experiencing today. As we speak right now, most of the states are experiencing a total shutdown of uh, activities. We'll take the report and we'll come back shortly. There's been mixed level of compliance with the industrial action directed by the leadership of labor unions. In most states, the strike is mostly observed at government offices. In Abelkuta, the Ogun State Capital, staff of the Ibadan Electricity Distribution Company was stranded at the gate 
to under lock and key compliance with the industrial action by the Nigeria Labour Congress and Trade Union Congress. As of yesterday, between two and five, the joint neck was conducted, and uh, it, it was from that meeting that uh, it was resolved unanimously that uh, we should embark on that uh, indefinite uh, strike, which commenced from midnight. And uh, we are here, and we have been going around to ensure that uh, there is compliance. In Lagos State, the nation's commercial capital, the NLC TUC strike has taken its toll on activities at the ports. As the Nigeria Port Authority in Apapa is completely shut down. The story is, however, different at the local wing of the Murtala Mohammed International Airport, which has been buzzing with activities with hundreds of passengers visiting airline ticket encounters for their flight tickets and other boarding documents. So far, the call by organized labor is not impacting on flight operations at the airport. A source at the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, however, told Channel Television that they are on red alert and are taking extra security precautions to forestall any security breaches because of the organized labor industrial action. Still from the southern part of the country, in River State, offices within the Federal Secretariat along Aba Road, which houses multiple ministries, departments, and agencies, were largely empty. Those that were open had very few staff at work, some of the offices visited included a Federal Character Commission, the Ministry of Works and Housing, and the Nigerian Immigration Service, among others. The Edo State Chapter of the Nigeria Labour Congress shut down government offices in compliance with the nationwide industrial action declared by the national body. At the Civil Service Secretariat in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, union leaders, including the state NLC chairman, Mr. John Olaye locked out civil servants who dared to come to work. At the nation's capital, members of the FCT branches of NLC and TUC can be seen moving around some government offices in the Federal Secretariat and the Ministry of Finance. The Labour leaders also enforced the strike action in some banks in the city centre. You have a representative in the bank. lock the gates there. In Kaduna State, the indefinite strike declared by the Nigeria Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress recorded partial compliance. On the first day of the strike on Tuesday morning, Commercial activities in the Kaduna state capital continue like normal. Some of the civil servants say they were not aware of the NLC strike and have not been given any directive to join in the industrial action. I'm not given any directives that we just go and strike. I'm working. We. Okay, welcome back from that uh, report that captured um, the ongoing strike and the strike has entered is the two today. And of course, uh, when you go to news, uh, Chinese news platform, you see that uh, the NLC replying federal government saying that you don't obey court orders. Labor knocks federal government that you don't obey court orders. Uh, so with the nationwide strike, industrial actions um, declared by the Energy Labor Congress, uh, NLC and the TUC uh, enter its second Day, the organized labor has said that no court order I would receive from the federal government or any of its party not to proceed with the strike which commenced on Tuesday. Uh, TUC President Festo Susifu, who spoke on Channel Television's from Rice Daily program that was aired uh, early Wednesday morning, knocked the government for perpetuating vowel, for perpetually violating court orders while expecting other institutions to obey the judiciary. We we'll also recall that the federal government and the Dep Department of the State Service, DSS, violated court order directing the release of former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Governor Mayfield, from the custody of the secret police when he was uh, detained before he was eventually freed after about five months. 
Yes, we don't, I quote, say, yes, we don't have a service on the court order, but we have a government today who perpetually does not obey court orders. When DSS was holding a MFLA, how many court orders were passed for the MFLA to be released? Countless number of them. A furious Osifo said on the, ad, on the breakdown, uh, on the breakfast show early on Wednesday. So, um, Still uh, talking about uh, today's uh, uh, newspaper review. Now we also see that um, uh, article calls for major of uh, opposition parties to challenge the APC. Uh, so uh, former Vice President Atiku Obubakar believes the major of Nigeria's opposition parties will help in forming a stronger front against the ruling of Progressive uh, Congress APC. Atiku, who was the People's Democratic Party candidate in 2023, presidential election said this in Abuja on Tuesday when he hosted the National Executive Council uh, Committee of the Inter-Party Adversary Council, IPAC. Today, during a meeting with the National Executive Can Committee of the Party, uh, Adversary Council Nigeria, uh, I emphasized the importance of protecting our democracy. I expressed concern over the APC's actions, leading Nigeria towards a one-party dictatorship. So that's article making such options, uh, uh, trying to uh, 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 ask other party to make sure that they will be able to forge and be able to be a strong opposition party to the ruling uh, of Progressive Party and APC. So well, there you have it. That's uh, the most you can take on the newspaper review uh, from the Prime Media TV studio. And of course, you can always go to remy.com.ng to buy uh, your items online place your order, and the items will be delivered to you uh, speedily within three working days in Lagos. Whatever item you order for you, get it. And within seven working days outside Lagos, you also receive the item. You can see the beautiful items on, the, on our site. Of course, you can become a seller on the platform. Just go down to the, uh, the, the, the in the part, you see become a seller there, click on it, and uh, you, you, you will be, once you're approved, your source store is approved, uh, of course, You'll be able to uh, upload items, register and upload items on the platform. It's right now you can registration is free. Uh, so go on rem.com.ng and start selling your product now. So from Prosper My Care and my able producers, uh, this is much will take. And uh, of course, we'll come your way. And of course, uh, don't 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 um, subscribe to this channel because our comedian uh, Shakiz. We'll be on you we'll be with you shortly. We're going to be on the show and on that fantastic program coming up. You have a blessed day.